guys, it's Dr. Pam, and I'm here with day five of the Holiday Survival Guide Advent Calendar. And today, I have Rana Lynn. Now, okay. Rana Lynn is with me at the seminar, but more importantly, she's my go-to girl about essential oils. And I'm not, I'm not schooled in essential oils, so if I ever have a question from a client, I'm calling Rana Lynn because she really, really knows her stuff. And so I thought we'd have her on today and that we would talk a little bit about the big concerns that most people have in utilizing essential oils. Because, you know, some people say they don't work and then some people say they're super powerful. And then some people online say you can, you can use essential oils in pets and some people say you don't. And mm -hmm. so what gives, Rana? It's very confusing, I, I know. I would say um, the first and foremost two things are your quality and your purity. Okay. So um, you want to be buying um, pure, very pure and very high quality oils. Um, so basically you need to know your farmer. Um, know that, you know, where your oils are coming from. Be sure it's third party tested. Um, so third party testing, guys, just so if you don't know it, is that's, you know, my favorite thing because in third party testing, an outside lab takes a product of the company and tests it independently. It makes the, the company accountable for what's mm -hmm. in it and they have to pass certain standards in order to actually distribute that. Correct. So, okay, awesome. Yeah, so, um, and then also the purity. So when, um, for a, an essential oil to be labeled a pure essential oil, it really only has to be five to 10% um, of the essential oil. Wait, and wait, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. You're saying in a bottle that we buy. Mm -hmm. I don't know, where is it? We have, okay, there we have a bottle. I can have five to 10% of that as the actual oil. Well, well then what else? would they put in there? It can be a carrier oil, a corn oil, you know, um, it can even be certain chemical constituents or fragrances because a lot of times our, our consumers are sure. trained to be smelling a peppermint that is a chemical peppermint versus a real peppermint. So oh. they're adding in chemical and That's fragrance nice. to make it smell like the peppermint we are used to smelling. Got so it. So that it appeals to us better. Okay, and so when you mean carrier oil, I know in, in at least what little I know about essential yeah. oils is you have some carrier oils that are really appropriate, but there's a lot on the market that are not. not. Is there any way right. to know by looking at the label? No, it's a prior prior proprietary <laughs> blend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so they don't have to disclose that information. So yeah. how do you get around that? Um, you like that's where you go back to you only buy from the manufacturers. Um, so what you you're trust. saying is like Young Living buy directly from them, doTERRA buy directly from them, and even Ms. Melissa Shelton's line, yes, those, Animalia. All three lines I would definitely um, wow. be okay with okay. using with pets. Okay. Yeah. I read this really interesting article um, two weeks ago written by a special agent of the government, the, the FDA rather, and he does a lot of the counterfeit investigations and you know we're thinking about the counterfeit purses and things like that, but in actuality a huge market is the counterfeiting of nutritional supplements. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell my clients never ever buy off of Amazon right. because you really don't know if it's the original no. or if it's been altered and they yeah. often will buy expired products. Right. Do you see that in essential oils? Definitely. We've had uh, reports come in where people have bought oils off Amazon and had them tested and come to find out they um, have been buying the original products. Then they will, you know, basically, um, you know, these only bootleggers, these bootleggers, it? they will only keep a, maybe a small portion of the oil. If there's any of the oil, the original oil left in it, um, it would oh. be a very small portion. And again, then they're adding in whatever. Well, how do you feel. get around? I mean, we've got the little label here. You the can, um, they can actually purchase the caps that are not broken to put back on the, the bottle and resell it. Okay. So mm -hmm. note to self, we yeah. only, we only order from the manufacturer. the manufacturer. Okay. Well then here's the other thing. We also know that doTERRA and Young Living are MLMs, right? right. And some people don't really want to deal with that. I'm right. not, you know, I'm not wanting to jump into that Completely either. understandable. So how do you get around that if you don't really want to participate in it? Um, there's two ways you can do that. You can either um, just buy as a retail customer. It is a little bit more expensive to do that way. But when you're using such a small amount of product, it's still pennies to be sure that it's a safe product for your pet. Agreed. Agreed. Um, the other way is, um, I know with Young Living, I'm assuming doTERRA is the same way. I, it's basically, I have more people than I can count that basically it's like a Costco membership. You pay a $35 fee to get wholesale pricing for life. You're not required to sell any products. You're not required to make a monthly order. Um, you can just buy as long as you spend um, okay. $50 a year, you okay. get to keep your membership. Okay. So, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I think that's pretty am amazing. The only other one thing that I want to um, talk about is what do we do with pets? The, 
my understanding is that you have to dilute with PET. Definitely. And um, what does it mean to dilute? I'm not sure I fully understand basically, that. Basically, um, since this is such a pure essential oil, right, a true pure, not a 5 to 10 percent pure, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, basically um, you want to use maybe one or two drops in your hand and then mix it with a, a coconut oil or a grapeseed oil or almond oil. Um, something to kind of dilute it down. It actually a healthy oil. A healthy oil um, to dilute it down, and it actually helps kind of spread, you know, the oil out because you're not using very much, so you can get more okay. coverage if you use a carrier awesome. oil as well. Awesome. Um, I even do the if you um, do the thumbprint method, you can take it down to even less than that. So I would put it in my hand, and then all I'm using is basically a thumbprint and applying it to an acupressure oh, yeah. point. So okay. to even use less. So it just well, depends on, on awesome. how you're doing. Thank you. So yeah. guys, I'm gonna have Ranalyn back because there's so much more we want to know. We want to talk about the best essential oils around the holidays to help mm -hmm. with stress and things like okay. that. So we're going to have her back every week if you'll awesome. come back. Awesome. Awesome. And so, hey, I hope that helps you guys. I love it. And we will be back. To, I will be back tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not sure of the time because we're in and out of class, but um, you guys have a great day. Yeah. Take care. Bye.